Woman marries an old tree for the most heartwarming reason if you tell someone you're not marrying a human, they'll think you've gone mad. Even if they're not the judgmental type, they can't help but worry about your mental health. There's a recent trend where women are marrying themselves and that's a little too much to grasp for many people, but at least they're marrying someone human, right? If you thought that was strange, then you'll be scratching your head wondering how one woman from Korea married her pillow and another woman from New York married a fairground ride. Now if you think marrying inanimate objects is just plain crazy, what about animals? One man from Missouri married his horse. He landed on Jerry Springer in the 90s to explain how he developed such a deep romantic relationship with his pony. The show was so outrageous that they decided it shouldn't be broadcast, and probably for good reason too there's been a case of a woman marrying a tree to fulfill her emotional and sexual needs, but there are a few stories where women have married a tree for a greater cause. Karen Cooper from Fort Myers, Florida stood alongside her family as people snapped a photo of her marrying a 100-year-old tree. The 60-year-old woman's reason behind doing this isn't crazy in the slightest, it's inspirational. This is her story. Karen has been living in Fort Myers for approximately 40 years, and cherishes every landmark in her neighborhood. For her, a century-old ficus tree is the main attraction of her local park. When she heard that the city is planning to cut it down, because its 8,000-foot canopy is extending into a neighborhood parking lot that's selling for $1 million, Karen was devastated. The tree is the focal point of a very sweet neighborhood park, and without it, the park would just be a vacant lot, she told ABC News. We lost so many trees in Hurricane Irma and for them to cut one down on purpose is terrible, she added. And this tree is fabulous. Karen was inspired by other stories of women who have married trees in the hopes to save them from being cut down. She was particularly inspired by a group of women in Mexico who wed trees to protest deforestation. In order for the Florida mother to raise awareness, she had a wedding ceremony in the park, where approximately 80 people came to watch. The ceremony was meant to encourage residents of the subdivision to come to City Hall on Tuesday to show support for saving the tree, she explained. While there was no ring or priest, there were vows. We all stood there, made a vow to protect the tree, then cake and mimosas, she said. It was tremendous.